Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his Liberal government have been trying to impose a policy to reduce fertilizer emissions by 30% below 2020 levels by 2030. That is part of the federal government's plan to reach net zero emissions by 2050. Contrary to his climate hysteria-driven beliefs, new studies have shown it is actually impossible for farmers to do that by 2030 without taking drastic measures. Trudeau's Liberal government has been saying that those targets are voluntary, not mandatory. But are they? Doubtful. What did the new studies show? What is the Liberal government's plan? Stick around to find out. Welcome to Street Politics Canada. Back in December 2020, the Minister of Agriculture and Agri-Food, Marie-Claude Bebeau, announced the federal government's intention to set a voluntary fertilizer emissions reduction target of 30% below 2020 levels by 2030. Since then, that decision has led to massive pushback from the agricultural business world saying that such reductions are not achievable without dramatic reductions in fertilizer usage, which consequently impacts the world, not just Canada. The agricultural sector was responsible for approximately just 10% of Canada's greenhouse gas emissions in 2019. But no matter what the Liberal government says, it is not possible to reach the 30% target by 2030. While Trudeau's government has been claiming that these new targets are voluntary, the farmers have been reporting that by not reducing fertilizer emissions, they could face losing access to more than $1 billion of financial incentives that would help increase sustainable practices, which includes access to more technology. So who's to say that it is voluntary? How do you remain competitive against these government-sponsored farms? If you do as they say, you get better technology. If you don't, you get nothing. And they will most likely go out of their way to sabotage you. What kind of policy is this? Those are people who are responsible for putting food on our tables. Is that really how we should be treating them? By imposing unachievable targets on them and making them lose money. This proposed target is putting a lot of pressure on farmers and businesses to reduce their emissions without reducing their fertilizer use, but it just cannot be done. It would clearly harm Canada and still fall short of these unrealistic goals. So what is the point? Who even proposed these targets? Trudeau for keep claiming that he has consulted people all he wants, but even Canada's chief science advisor was never asked to evaluate whether or not those reduction targets could harm food production. According to a recent survey published by the Canadian Federation of Independent Business, 72% of farmers said their crops and overall food production will be reduced if the federal government forced them to reduce their use of fertilizer. So I wonder if they had consulted farmers, how are they outraged now? It leaves us with one possible answer that makes the most sense. They never consulted anyone, or they selectively consulted those whose motivations served their agendas. Recent studies have shown that while the targets set to reduce emissions are plausible, it is impossible to meet such a target without reducing the use of nitrogen fertilizer. This is an action that the producers and farmers disapprove of strongly, with every right to as well. This would massively harm Canadian food production and consequently affect the entire globe considering Canada's status as one of the world's main food exporters. Who set these targets anyway? Not farmers not businesses. It was Trudeau. What does Trudeau know about agriculture to set such targets on his own anyway? This must be a world record for failure as this man continues to fail time and time again without ever caring about the repercussions he would have to face if he is ever confronted with any. Trudeau gets away with anything he wants as long as his corrupt liberal government covers for him. Despite knowing how harmful it would be to cut down fertilizer emissions and the targets proposed by himself for food production, Trudeau went ahead ignored all the warning signs and gave the green light for his failed policy. Western provinces produce over 90% of Canada's crops, so any slight alteration in their delicate system could ultimately and irreversibly harm the complex food supply chain and consequently our exports. But of course, Trudeau would not be affected, so he does not care. The Prime Minister only cares about one thing, achieving his own nefarious agendas. Other than that, he does not care and he has no intention of ever caring. Trudeau has failed as a leader of a free country such as Canada. He is basically throwing us under the bus with his failed policies, leaving us to pay the price dearly for his mistakes. As long as he and his agendas are safe, he wouldn't bat an eye to rescue anyone else or save anyone from the impending doom he put us in. This is outrageous. People are struggling to keep their houses stocked with food and a roof over their heads. Also due to Trudeau's failed policies, and yet he still seems to think it is better to reduce emissions than to save those people. What more does he need to realize that these people are struggling? That they are struggling because of him? Trudeau is driving people into poverty with his faulty economics, and now he is also going to starve the world. A 30% reduction in fertilizer will lead to Canada growing significantly less quality food with the same resources that could have been used more effectively if they had used fertilizer. With significantly less food comes significantly higher prices for food all around the globe as Canada is a major exporter, and who will that affect first? 
people who cannot afford things to get worse than this. It's that simple. Force people to reduce emissions, production falls, and when it does, prices go up. This doesn't take a genius to understand its basic supply and demand economics. People who have been driven into poverty in Canada and the world will suffer if he decides to make this policy mandatory as if it isn't already. If Trudeau and his liberal government don't acknowledge the faults in their actions, they are going to have a whole other problem on their hands. If they think that their biggest problem is climate change, they should wait and see what it would be like if those farmers riot like what's happening in Europe. When the same policies were imposed on the Dutch farmers, they protested until they brought down their authoritarian government and forced the prime minister to resign, and I think we know who is next. If Trudeau does not end this foolish war on climate change and focus on what is important, such as repairing the country he personally broke, he's going to be following the Dutch prime minister soon and will perhaps face an even more horrific fate. Trudeau claims he cares about Canadians. He feels their struggles, but does he? He has, on more than one occasion, proven how not only he does not care about us, but he doesn't even realize the depth of the struggles we are facing because of him. He chooses to be willfully ignorant about the struggles of Canadians because it makes him feel better about himself. It makes him feel as if he is doing something when all he is doing is driving our country over a cliff with no remorse. If he really cared about Canada or Canadians, why didn't he hear those farmers out? Why didn't he see how it would affect them? How it would affect Canada's economy? I hope he knows that not everything is about what he wants or when he wants it. At this point, I doubt Trudeau has been doing all of that by accident. He seems to know exactly what he is doing, but is just putting on an act of being stupid. If he knows what he is doing, he knows the repercussions of such actions, but I doubt you would care about that. It seems to me that perhaps Trudeau is not that stupid after all. Maybe it is all his own doing, going according to his globalist master's plan. In that case, though, we need to get rid of him soon. I think the farmers will be rioting soon. Fast forwarding his eventual demise. All in all, my hope is that the Liberal Party is dismantled as soon as possible and publicly punished for supporting a tyrant such as Trudeau. Well, that's all for now. Do you think the farmers will succeed in cancelling the policy Trudeau is enforcing on them? Do you think the people affected will riot against him soon? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Also, kindly subscribe and leave a like for this video and our other videos because they go a long way in helping our latest content rank. Follow us on our new Twitter account, where we post stuff we can't post on YouTube. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks again for your support, and we'll see you in the next one.